Hey everybody, I reached out to Larry John Wright Advertising in Mesa, Arizona, in Phoenix, and talked to Sam John, he's the director, owner of the company, and we had a great conversation. Uh, they don't have a position open, the one that I, quote, applied for, unquote. Um, he didn't recognize the name of the hiring manager, so-called and agreed that there was a gigantic problem. And so I think he took umbrage to my reference, kind of, I, didn't, I had no intention of defaming the organization, but I was quite concerned that this happened under their watch. Um, but we got all that straightened out. And that I felt my job was to let them know um, and say, hey, there's this problem. Uh, LinkedIn has to take that down because he says he doesn't know how to take that down, that job advertisement. And there are 200 people out there who applied to that job. I'm one of them. The question is how many have given their background, credit, financial information to this, quote, Trisha Davis, unquote. If you've done that, you've been fished. And... We have to have appropriate safeguards against this. How do you do it? One suggestion I talk with Sam about is I think Lincoln should install a system where if someone links to your corporate website or mine, they have to have a password. You know, they have to have a password or be admin to be able to do that. Otherwise, they shouldn't be able to link to it. That would separate the fake job postings from the real ones. Um, because this one that was posted looks real. It links. It looks like it's it, it's part of the LinkedIn architecture. The link goes right to the Larry John Wright. LinkedIn profile page, it behaves as a common standard job posting, period. There's no way, there's also no place to flag it. Say, hey, look, you know what? This looks real. I mean, this looks, well, it looks fake, right? There's nothing there that I, that I can see that readily says, if this looks fake, press button, right? No red button. There should be something like that. Um, we have to take steps to stop this. I remember having a conversation along these lines a long time ago with Randy Zuckerberg about, in that case, the need to have people use their real name so you know who they really were. But we've gone beyond that because we have, quote, real names. In other words, not an obviously fake name, but um, we need to really tighten up what it means to have a real name online so that, and that real name can be traced to something, to an official database someplace so that you know who you're dealing with really is a true person that has an affiliation with the organization that they write, they have affiliation with, or somebody rights they have an affiliation with. So in other words, if I know that that system's in place and I see a Trisha Davis and she says she works for Larry John um, Smith, then I can know that she really does as opposed to the current situation, which is she doesn't and doesn't exist, and yet is out there asking for your information, your financial information, and mine. That is a no-no. Big no-no. So there's the follow-up, folks. So I'm going to drill down more and talk more about this. Um, Rick Gates, check this out, man. Oof. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnowblog.com. That ends this broadcast.